Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a simple lock nut M24 mm. This is the lock nut body and plastic packing. So we will see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. It is very interesting and very commonly used item in the market. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Now here we will make the first part of lock nut M24 nut body. So let's start. Choose right plane. Go to sketch and select here polygon. We want to make a hexagon shape, so keep here six number of side circle in inside. So start to draw. Exit. Now select this side line and make relation vertical. Now let's assign this distance. Keep the mid outer distance 32 mm. Select extrude extruded boss and extrude up to 23 mm ok that's it now select the front face A sketch normal and here draw a circle and keep the diameter 36.6 mm ok now go to features and select extruded cut and here select flip side to cut we want to cut just outside this circle see you can see the direction of arrow ok now see we cut out some edges now select the back surface a sketch normal and here draw a, again one more circle and keep the diameter 31.5 mm ok now here we want to cut again select extruded cut and we want to cut inside up to 5 mm and choose here flip side cut we want to cut outside not middle portion ok Now again select the same face sketch and here draw a circle and keep the diameter 29 mm. Ok. Now here we want to create a hole so select extruded cut and make the depth 8 mm inside. Ok. See this is the inside depth. Now here we want to create thread. So first before creating thread we will create the hole. So for hole select this face. Choose here normal and select hole wizard. Choose here straight tap ISO. Tapped hole. We want to create a tapped hole. Choose here size M24 mm. End condition through all thread also through all and select cosmetic thread this is the actual over requirement 24 near side counter 24.05 120 degree and far side counter sink 24.05 choose position and select this midpoint press escape now you can see select ok now see we created some you can hide this line, this cosmetic thread. Now we want to cut here some curve shape. So choose front plane, sketch, normal. Select center line. And draw one vertical and horizontal center line. Connect from here to origin point. Vertical and horizontal. Must be horizontal and vertical choose a line and start from this point exit now define angle 30 mm and let's say distance 2 mm ok choose mirror entity select this triangle 
and mirror about this center line ok now go to features and we want to cut revolve cut so select this horizontal axis choose revolve cut see it's going to cut ok see we make a shape nut shape now select this face sketch let's draw a circle and keep the diameter 31.5 mm ok and we want to trim some face here so select extruded cut choose offset from surface 5 mm select this inside surface 5 mm offset from this surface ok now you can see this this much we trimmed ok now here we want to make a close pack for a close passage for plastic packing so select our previous sketch and select here extruded boss choose offset select 3 mm blind 1 mm reverse direction see and choose here thickness thin keep 3 mm reverse direction carefully note down this all dimensions select ok now see we created a passage choose fillet keep radius 1.5 mm and select the outer edge ok again select fillet 0.5 mm and we want to select this inside corner see here ok now it's time to make the thread inside this nut so select this plane face and create a plane uh, just to make 3 mm away from the exact surface ok now select this plane a sketch normal and here draw a circle and keep this diameter 22.7 mm ok now we first we want to create a path for th thread pro thread so go to features find out helix and spiral and here choose height and pitch constant height select 20 mm and pitch keep 2 mm reverse direction 0 degree clockwise ok now you can see here the path is created so select top plane sketch normal now let's draw a thread profile here and connect with this midpoint exit select this line make first construction geometry again choose vertical ok select a line exit again select this line make relation construction now let's define this keep angle 60 degree distance from here to top 2 mm and select this distance keep 1 mm ok select here a star point put a star in this part ok choose fillet 0.1 mm and select this corner edge 
okay okay now we want to merge this peers with this path so select this star point is and this path and make relation peers undo the process select this face peers now see it peers with this corner now see this is the best way simply exit from the sketch and go to feature and find out the option swift cut the swift cut profile already selected just select the path see it's already calculate the cutting dimensions select okay now hide this plane now our lock nut body is ready you can see uh select this body and assign material go to metal chrome we we want to assign chrome plate see it's a very shiny and it's looking very nice now for lock nut we need a for locking purpose we need a plastic packing here so let's make this packing first save this body go to desktop create a new folder lock nut m24 and this is the nut m24 let's make the next part let's make the second part of uh, lock nut packing or the lock portion choose front plane sketch go to sketch and draw a two circle here one outer and one inner the outer circle keep the diameter 29 mm and inner select 21 mm okay and let's extrude it and extrude up to 5 mm okay choose here chamfer 45 degree 0.5 mm and select this outer edge outer face okay now see this packing is almost ready only we will assign let's assign the material this is actually plastic made so go to appearance and choose medium gloss plastic red save this part packing now let's start the assembly of both the parts so let's make the assembly of nut select new assembly okay now this is the assembly window of solid works so first uh, browse first select nut then packing select open now both the part will come here nut is by default is fixed now you can see it here let's make the relation choose nut select this inside face and this inside face make relation concentric okay select this outer face go back select this back side face see here okay concentric coincident relation okay now this is the our beautiful lock nut is ready now you can see so please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and don't forget to share and like our videos thanks for watching